with us now is Mr. Steve Free, and he is with a company called The Bug Stops Here. Actually, it's his company. I've known him for years. He's a phenomenal person uh, helping entrepreneurs, helping consumers. Uh, so let's welcome into the studio, Steve Free. Hi. Hey. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> how are you? I'm doing wonderful. Good. So let's talk about your company, The Bug Stops Here, and how you uh, originated it. Well, I started about 25 years ago. You know, I started with a $100 Pinto and uh, a dream to someday own my own company. I came home from work. I told my wife I had quit my job, and we had just bought a house, so she flipped out. Nice oh, my party. God. But um, here we are 25 years later. We see 2,000 people a month. We employ a lot of people. You know, I've been blessed. And what were you doing before that? Were you in this industry at all? Yeah, I was in pest control for most of my life. You know, I was uh, working for another company. You know, and then I wasn't happy what was going on there, so I decided I could do it better. So I opened up my own company, and uh, well, that's the rest is history. Well, what is the secret to your success? Well, I was thinking about it, because I knew I was going to be doing this show. And I was doing the Nassau Coliseum. I do it every year. And it's a grueling show. It's 30 hours, and it's exhausting, you know, with travel time. And I, I was sitting there, and I'm watching this little Italian lady come walking towards me, and I'm, I'm drained. And I'm looking at her, and I'm thinking, I know her. And as she got closer, I saw that it was one of my customers. And I actually got a tear, because it brought me back 25 years ago to when I was just a kid from Brooklyn, hoping someday I could be successful. And that woman believed in me. And here it is, 25 years later, she's still my customer. It's lovely. You know? She came up to me, and, and, I, and I had a tear. And she says, oh, you're a big baby, you know? I said, you know but that's the secret. It's that customer service. I, I never forgot that without my customers, I don't have anything. And I think in business, a lot of people, they start out that way, but then they get successful, and it becomes about the money, or it becomes about the ego. For me, I'm still, every day, I, I say a prayer, and I thank God for all the customers who believed in me and who stood by me. So I would say customer service. And, and you know, Talking about longevity, I mean, bugs, I mean, they've been around since the beginning of time. They're not going anywhere. No. Do you see, um, what is a bug's life like? I mean, are, are they different now? Are they stronger? Are they well, yeah, harder I, to, I've because of the over, environmental changes? I, I've noticed over the years a lot of changes, and it, actually to do with the environment. Termites used to swarm in February 25 years ago. Then it moved to March, now to April. So the, 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 the insects know there's something going on in the world, and you can see it. You know, the bed bugs are exploding across the country. They're in libraries, they're in movie theaters, they're in restaurants. You know, there's uh, the mosquitoes, the Lyme disease from ticks. It's, you know, one woman said to me out in the Hamptons, she said, how can you do this? And when I go into a home and I see a, a child that their legs are being eaten up by fleas, or I see a woman who's hysterical crying to me saying, my God, these things are biting me in my bed, and it's bed bugs. And I go in, I feel like I'm underdog, you know. <laughs> Here I come to save the day. <laughs> and when I leave, I made money, I helped someone. I mean, it, it, it doesn't get better than that. I said to my 10-year-old, I said, if you, the old saying that if you can find something you love to do, you'll never work a day in your life. And I believe that. I don't work. I, I still love all these years later what I do. And you're helping people, Absolutely. you know, and a lot of people don't want to go into that job. You know, who wants to deal with bed bugs? I mean, you know, or who wants to deal with the fumigation? And um, the techniques have changed over the years as well. And it yeah, seems absolutely. to me like your company is really on the cutting edge of that, the technology of doing it better, doing it safer, doing it wiser. Well, it all goes back to the customer. You know, you have to give them what they want, but it's getting challenging. You know, before you know it, the way the laws are changing, they'll have us with fly swatters, you know, trying to control these scourges, you know, and it's, it's terrible. Termites destroy more homes than hurricanes, volcanoes, fires combined. You know, the termites, carpenter ants, fleas, they wiped out a third of Europe in the 17th century, you know, from the bubonic plague. This is serious stuff. What tips can we give our audience in terms of, like, what to look for? Like, I had heard, like, bed bugs bite in a line. You know, like, what are some things like termites? Like, how do you know? Like, mud trails. I mean, like, well, what are some early signs? You'll get, you'll get swarming in the springtime, March and April, but I noticed as the years have gone on, they're not swarming as much. The only good way is to have an inspection done. Okay. Once a year, have someone come over, because it's the biggest investment of your life. So have one come, somebody come over and do a thorough inspection on a property. But there's a lot of tips you can do to keep your house nice without needing us. You know, don't 
have a lot of vegetation up against the building. You know, don't have your sprinklers watering your house. You know, I get a kick out of it. I'll drive by and I'll think, I'm going to see those people soon. Because yeah, you'll see the sprinkler <laughs> soaking wet in you know, their We're house. Laughing. It's serious. But oh, yeah, how, how often do we see that? And they're probably not even thinking that the wood and the wet wood. And... You know, they put mulch all up all around their house and it, they don't realize that it holds moisture. So insects move in underneath all of the mulch and they love, and then from there it's very easy. It was funny because we did a, I did an article with Dan's papers in the Hamptons. They wrote up a thing on me and the woman wrote, I don't know how he's successful because I give away all the secrets to not need me. But that is how I'm successful, is that I, I, I give information freely and people respect that and they hire us. Absolutely, and you know, the bug, you know, it stops here. I mean, the bug stops here. And, and so stops, a, a, yeah. little, a little bug is a little problem, but you know, before you get to a big problem, I suggest that they call you as well. I appreciate You're that. You're welcome. Um, for great tips about bugs in your house, bugs around your life, or anything that's bugging you, <laughs> uh, you can check it out at liveituptvshow.com, Steve Free, the bug stops here. Thank you for being our guest. Thank you. We also have a special on mother-in-laws and, you know, <laughs> anybody, business is slow. We'll anybody kill anything. Bugs you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very, very much.